हे गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज विपिन कुमार एंड आई एम स्टार्टिंग अनादर वीडियो सीरीज हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट ए मोनिटरिंग सिस्टम ऑन क्यूबनिटीज क्लस्टर इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट प्रोमेथियस अलर्ट मैनेजर एंड गफाना ऑन आवर क्यूबनिटीज एनवायरमेंट दिस इज माई करंट मोनिटरिंग सेटअप फॉर Kubernetes environment. You can see a Grafana dashboard on my screen. You can watch monitoring metrics from all three nodes by using Grafana dashboard. This is the second element in monitoring system that is called Prometheus. It is monitoring and collecting all metrics from all nodes in my kubernetes environment and this is the last components in my monitoring system that is called alert manager in first part of video we are going to install and configure prometheus on kubernetes environment i am using the ham jar to set up the monitoring solution on kubernetes environment you can install the ham jar on your workstation by using these commands i have installed ham chart version 3.0 on my environment now you require to add ham chart repository once you added the ham chart repository you can update the repository to download the latest update from doj repository i am updating the ham chart repository it's successfully updated to set up the monitoring system or prometheus on our environment i am using a ham chart repository called prometheus you can search repository on command line or, or you can search ham chart repository on the browser there are multiple repository available for prometheus we are going to use this ham chart repository to set up a prometheus on our environment this ham chart repository has multiple templates for many components like alert manager node exporter prometheus server you can install the prometheus with the default configuration but default configuration is not going to work out for the enterprise solution you can provide the parameters of your environment in values.yml file it has more than 1500 lines i strongly recommended to read this file line by line and provide your parameters according your environment let me explain my values.yml file this is my values.yml file it uses our back service i am creating separate service account for each service i am going to install alert manager if you make it false it is not going to install alert manager on your environment i am going to use ingress for the alert manager by default it is disabled i am using the alert manager dot domain dot com for the alert service my alert manager can be access outside of kubernetes cluster on alert manager dot domain dot com i am using the default value for backend service i am not going to use tls or ssl certificate next important parameters is persistent volume i am going to use 
persistent volume for the alert manager you can disable it by making a false value access mode will be rwo i am going to use my existing claim this is the name of existing persistent volume it is going to be mount path and size will be 2 gig this is the storage class name that's all in persistent volume let's create a persistent volume for the alert manager on the kubernetes cluster before going forward this is the file to create a persistent volume and volume claim this is the name of persistent volume and i am creating this persistent volume in a separate namespace called matrix the storage capacity will be 20 gig and volume mode will be file system this is my storage class name i am going to use a local volume provider all data of alert manager will be stored on kubernetes node under this location node infinity this volume persistent can be used or accessed by both the node in a cluster that is worker 01 and worker 02 next one is persistent volume claim this is the persistent volume claim name and this is the storage class name let's go ahead and create pv and pvc on kubernetes cluster first we will create a namespace called matrix second thing we need to create this path on both the node this is my worker node 1 i have created the path for the persistent volume this is the second node in kubernetes cluster now let's go ahead and create pv and pvc persistent volume and persistent volume claim has been created we can see here persistent volume has been created with name alert manager hyphen pv let's verify pvc yes pvc has been created now enter the required value for the persistent volume in values.yml file we require the claim name so this is the claim name next one we require a storage class name and this is the storage class name that's all we need in persistent volume next one is config map reload we don't require to change any default parameters next configuration section for node exporter i am going to install the node exporter on the kubernetes cluster leave other value as a default next section is server or prometheus i am going to install prometheus server on kubernetes cluster for that i am going to enable the ingress this is going to be a host name or domain name of prometheus server leave the backend service as a default no tls or ssl certificate we are going to use persistent volume for the prometheus server access mode will be rwo this is the claim name of the persistent volume this is the mount path and we are requesting for 
8 gig this is the storage class name before going further in this file let's create persistent volume and persistent volume claim for the prometheus server i am creating the persistent volume for prometheus server with this name and i am going to assign this persistent volume to the dedicated namespace called matrix this is the storage class name i am going to use the storage class name in values.yml file this is the local location path on each kubernetes node for the persistent volume this volume can be accessed from both the node in kubernetes cluster that is worker 01 and worker 02 this section for persistent volume claim this persistent volume claim is going to assign to a dedicated namespace matrix and this is the storage class name let's go ahead and create persistent volume and persistent volume claim for the prometheus server let's create the local storage path on both the node in kubernetes cluster i am creating the required folder on both the node now let's create the pv and pvc okay persistent volume and persistent claim has been created let's verify yes it has been created let's verify persistent volume claim this is the claim name and this is the storage class let's enter the required information about persistent volume in village.yml file provide the persistent claim name this is the claim name this is my storage class name leave other value has a default next configuration section is push gateway it is going to be installed by default on kubernetes cluster we don't require to change any parameters in this segment that's all we require to install and set up prometheus on our kubernetes environment you can download the original or default values.yml file on their official ham chart github repository i also upload my values.yml file on my github location for your reference i also provide the link of my github location in video description once you are ready with your values.yml file and all the pre-requests let's go ahead and install prometheus on kubernetes we are going to install prometheus by using ham chart i uploaded my customize values.yml file on this location and i am installing the prometheus in matrix namespace let's go ahead and install it prometheus has been installed on the machine this is the information about the deployment the Prometheus can be accessed on this DNS name within our cluster. You can access the Prometheus from outside cluster by using this DNS name. This is the complete picture of Prometheus deployment. All the ports are up and online. These are services alert manager state matrix node exporter push gateway and prometheus server
node exporter installed on both nodes in Kubernetes cluster has a daemon set. Node exporter installed on on both nodes in Kubernetes cluster has a daemon service. It is going to collect the hardware or OS level metrics like CPU, memory, disk space, etc. from both the node in Kubernetes cluster. It is running the one instance of alert manager. Alert manager is used to handle all the alerts sent by the Prometheus like grouping, alerting or sending the notification. It is going to collect the Kubernetes level metrics like node capacity, replica set, any warnings, cron jobs, etc. The push gateway sending the scrap to the Prometheus server in time intervals and this is the Prometheus monitoring server. Let's look at the ingress service. We do have two ingress service, one for Prometheus server and second for alert manager. Since these are ingress resource, hence you can point out these DNS name to any of the node in a Kubernetes cluster. I am pointing out both the URL on second node of the Kubernetes cluster. Let's try to access the Prometheus server and alert manager on the browser. Yes, I can access the Prometheus server from Kubernetes cluster. It is monitoring all the nodes in Kubernetes cluster, master, worker, worker 2. Also, it is collecting a lot of information for the various metrics. I will create a separate demo for the Prometheus, how to create and run the query to get maximum values for various metrics. At this moment, our Prometheus server is collecting and monitoring our Kubernetes cluster. Now let's try to access the alert manager. This is the alert manager for Kubernetes cluster. Since we haven't configured the alert manager for our Kubernetes cluster yet, hence it is not monitoring or capturing any alert for us. In the next video, we are going to configure the alert manager as well as creating rules for the alerts for our Prometheus environment. So far, we installed and configured the Prometheus server in our Kubernetes cluster. In this video, that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.